yesterday we were expecting only clouding over Delhi, uh, but actu in actuality the weather system has turned out to be slightly more intense than expected, because of which we have received uh, thunderstorm activity and rainfall throughout northwest India uh, during the uh, last night. Uh, what we are seeing today is that the western disturbance uh, continues to be along 70 degrees east to the north of 28 degree north and with an induced cyclonic circulation in the lower levels. Uh, because of these two weather systems, we expect a uh, moisture incursion from the Arabian Sea in the low to mid levels into northwest India. The main rainfall zone will continue to be over the western Himalayan region where we are expecting fairly widespread rainfall uh, over the western Himalayan region. We are also expecting clouding and isolated rainfall activity over the plains, which is uh, Punjab, Haryana, West Uttar Pradesh, uh, a little bit of East Uttar Pradesh, and uh, North Rajasthan. Uh, this weather system is a fast-moving weather system, and it is likely to move away eastward by tomorrow morning. So the weather is like not likely to persist over this region, and we expect clear skies from tomorrow. Uh, the main effect of this western disturbance will be on the temperature. As I mentioned, there has been uh, wide, fairly widespread to widespread rainfall, snowfall activity over the hills. Uh, so from tomorrow morning, skies will become clear. Uh, simultaneously, northwesterly cold winds will start to penetrate into the plains of northwest India because of which we expect a fall of 2 to 4 degrees uh, Celsius in the minimum temperature from tomorrow for the subsequent four to five days. Uh, maximum temperature will not fall much. In fact, uh, it may fall by one degree Celsius, which is, a, uh, which is a climatological thing with every passage of western disturbance, but it will rise slightly with the clear skies.